God bless you. My name is Ben. I'm a follower of Jesus. This is the most recent in a series related to MBTI and the Gospel. MBTI and our representation of God. The NF self-concept words are authentic, empathetic, and benevolent. Our God is authentic. John 11, 34-44 where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. So the Jews were saying, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not this man who opened the eyes of a blind man have kept this man also from dying? So Jesus, again being deeply moved within, came to the tomb. Now this was a cave, and a stone was laying against it. And Jesus said, Remove the stone. Martha, the sister of the deceased, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be a stench, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they removed the stone, and Jesus raised his eyes, and Jesus said, Thank you, Father, that you have heard me. I knew that you always heard me, because the people standing around I said it, so that they might believe that you sent me. When he said these things, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! And the man who died came forth, bound hand and foot with wrappings, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Jesus always intended to heal. Jesus always intended to show his glory. The weeping? Everything he did was according to plan. The weep? Jesus wept, the shortest verse in the Bible, is to show us what's going on inside of Jesus. That God does not conceal himself from those that love him. And that he cares deeply about the hurting, the broken, those he came to heal and save and is not considered a contrast of character to be the most powerful being in the universe as well as being a man who cries. There you go. It's not unmanly to cry. We see it right here. It's proven that it's not unmanly to cry. We know that Jesus is the greatest man who ever lived and he cried. He even knew his friend was coming back. He cries because his friend has died and he missed him. And he's showing forth the true intentions of God. That's the example of Jesus. And there, by the way, is an example, a facet of God, an NF can admire. Jesus is empathetic. Matthew 5, 43-45 but you've heard it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those that persecute you, so that you may be the sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteousness. God loves and cares about those that hate him. I mean, you think about Jesus on the cross, saying, Father, forgive them, they know not what to do. That wasn't a defensive response. If anybody ever had a right to say, you guys are picking on me, I'm angry, I'm being persecuted, it was him. And yet he didn't. And he said, pray for your enemies. Compassion. There is a facet of God that an NF can admire and want to emulate. Our God is benevolent. Psalms 73, 1 and 2. The Psalm of Asaph. Surely God is good to Israel. See, he is good to us, to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet came close to stumbling, my steps had almost slipped. He is saying, you know what? God kept me on this path. God has good will and good plans for me. Even when I'm having a hard time, God has good, thinks the best of me and wants me to succeed. And wants to make sure I don't fall down. That 
is an example of the facet of God that NF can admire and aspire to be. It wants to become like. Our God is the great healer, the spring of deep transformative relationships. Amen.